I remember well the first fish that I caught in Montana. We were camping. It's a beautiful granite glaciated canyon. It was fall. All the cottonwoods were golden. Bitterroot was running low and clear. And the first fish was a beautiful cutthroat trout. Just erupted out of a pool. I remember holding it and releasing it. It was really special. Instantly I was in love with Montana and the Bitterroot. been 20 years now in restoration and it's what led me to doing what I do working on rivers it was it just drives my passion most people don't realize that all that water is just in the river is coming from all these small tiny tributaries like O'Brien Creek you look at how much flow you have in it from the headwaters to the mouth and you see this huge increase. That's because you have all these tributaries feeding in the lifeblood of the river. Without tributaries there would be no river. Trout lose the best spawning habitat. We would have no fishery. O'Brien Creek was the first major in-stream restoration project that I completed. The O'Brien Creek watershed starts high up in west of Missoula, Montana, near Blue Mountain, then transitions down in the last three miles into an agricultural area, comes into more of a shallow valley, and then meets the, the Bitterroot less than a mile with its confluence with the Clark Fork. It was a drainage that was heavily degraded by agriculture and logging. So the stream was severely dewatered to the point that it actually was going dry in some summers. About eight years ago, the Clark Fork Coalition has transitioned most of the senior water rights. So now in perpetuity, we're holding that water in stream when it's needed. Knowing that I had permanently brought water back to O'Brien Creek made me feel very proud, very satisfied. It makes all the hard work worth it. I'm at the point now where I enjoy as much seeing someone else catch a big fish or than even catching it myself. My daughter, she's proud of what I do. In fact, we drove over the uh, Clark Fork River not too long ago in the car, and she said to everybody in the car, there's the river that my daddy works to save. And, and she actually has told me while we're standing on the banks of the Bitterroot that she wants to do this when she grows up. <laughs>